In this short video, I would like to show you how to import geotagged images to your QGIS project. And therefore, I was searching for a plugin. And so let's have a look in the plugin um, tab here, which plugins are available for this kind of task. So I've searched for photo and there's the plugin geotag and import photos and photo to shape which is probably quite sophisticated, but it requires you to have Xev Read installed and I don't like to install additional software for this task. So I was using photo to KMZ, uh, which creates a um, TXT file from your photo folder and um, also a KMZ file. So this is the button for it, photo to KMZ press on it, we let's select the folder and I have a folder with my images from the Sears Intergeo. So this is a GIS folder and I would like to name it export images Intergeo. Let's just press on OK. It works in the background so it grabs the geodata or the, the latitude and longitudes from each point from each photo and it also asks you to open the KMZ, we will skip that and we will just import the text file. So this is the export images into geo file. We'll grab that and the X, oh, I think this is fine here. So we will, the comma is a separator, that's great. And we have point coordinates, the X field is the longitude, the Y field is the, come on, latitude. And that's, I think, yeah, point is the separator for the decimals, and that's great. So just press on OK. Now we have here the uh, the points. So I've started my trip to Stuttgart, which uh, where the Indian Geo took place this year. And there is it, Stuttgart. And so there are my points. Now just save that as a separate shapefile. Do that here in the GS file folder into Geo Photos Shape. Well, you don't have to shout that. And it is stored as a shape file. So, and we will save, we will add the saved file to the map and remove the, um, these, um, uh, the layer. So now there are the my points and in ArcGIS I showed you how to show the images right by clicking on one point. And we will do it another way around. So there's this cool tool called Map Tips and you can define map tips in your layer. So let's go here and go to display, check the HTML and set insert an expression. Now the expression is like this. We will concatenate and what to concatenate? We will make usage of HTML syntax. So we will like to show an image and the source is from somewhere. The source is of course the name or it is stored in the attribute name. And furthermore we will add an width operator because the images are quite big. So the width should be, well, let's say 400 pixels. And um, we will close the image tag and yeah, really close the image tag. And that's it. So this is the output preview. So Let's just press on OK. OK. Now activate the hover. Let's check whether this works. There is an image, but it's not available. So let's have a look at the attribute table, which is wrong with our data. The main reason for that there's no image shown is that this path is not a real path to the image, it is just the name of the image. So let's adjust this. We will update the name and this will be also concatenation from the current position of the files, which is there. 
but we will have to replace this with that's forward slash due to the fact it's Python and it's not a Linux system so uh, this is the this is the location of the images and we will concatenate this with sorry for the misspelling here and we will concatenate this with name well let's close that and this looks quite good here down below so this is the real path to the image let's press on ok and now we'll update all so now we have the name updated we can save that now go out of edit mode close this and let's have a look back again at the at the preview so there's no preview given hmm. oh where are my settings here maybe we should add a new column So make, let's make it link and this will be a string and the width of the string we will take it as big as possible 250 and now we will alter that and make the same function okay so we will concatenate and we will update all press and save Press on clear, close this. Now we have two possibilities here as I can see it. So there are still the names. And now we have it. So there was a little bit kind of a hassle but um, we can see now clearly our images from each point. So just hovering over the over the point and we will get an idea about the image. So let's make it here so we can see there was this booth and there was that booth. Once again, just hover over the image and the image will be loaded right away. So there's no action needed at the moment but you can also open an action. So let's go back to the properties and go here to the actions field and let's add a default action which is the open field the open file well we have the name or the the location of the file already stored in not path but in name we'll update the selected action just press on ok and now you can easily choose the identify button or the identify feature tool right click on a feature open the file and the file will be opened in the default application for that kind of file file type like it was uh, over at um, arcgis so um, this is also a possibility to show the images which is not as convenient as the hoover or the the uh, yeah this is hoover type of style which i like quite a lot thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye